Concrete balconies. When we discuss concrete balconies, we're referring to the kind that are poured from a concrete truck, which will form a continuous slab. We are not referring to a screed located on top of cement sheeting on a frame. We are also not referring to block and beam construction, which is made from concrete, but does not create a solid continuous structure. If you can't get access to the underside to confirm, it will be evident with the amount of movement cracks, which are similar to that of a framed construction and should be treated as such. Concrete slab balconies go through a movement phase and then settle. These balconies are also subject to movement issues, but they are smaller and easier to repair than framed construction. Look over the balcony surface. Wherever there is a crack from point to point, install an expansion joint. This is a point of possible future movement. Otherwise, expansion joints located every four lineal meters or yards and regrouting sections where grout is missing before applying the membrane is what is required. There is one exclusion to this rule. If the concrete slab has been down for more than seven years and has no cracks, then you may not need to install expansion joints as the concrete has gone through its movement phase. The expansion joints we are discussing with concrete applications are not the ones that will be installed on top of the existing grout joints, but rather cut into the grout joint. Remember that for expansion joints to work with lateral flexibility, they need to be thinner than they are wider. So after cutting out the grout joint, use backing rod to fill the void below if possible.